What's going on dudes, it's Chaos, and welcome back to the Technic Adventures. Um, today we've actually got a really awesome build coming up. Uh, I want to start building a quarry, and um, I think after we build the quarry, I'm actually going to start, we're going to build like a big ass factory, I think would be really cool. So, uh, I don't know, the last couple episodes have been kind of more of the Thomcraft uh, area of things, but ne right now we're kind of just waiting for uh, these crystals to grow, and we can actually start using these guys for uh, different things and stuff, and I still actually got some research and stuff that we got to do on all these guys, so uh, they haven't really grown since the last time we, uh, since last episode. I haven't actually played all that much since the uh, last episode we recorded, but um, what we can actually do right now is, hold on, I want to, where is it? Um, goggles of revealing, I want to make these guys, so um, we'll go throw these guys on the, uh, this guy. And uh, we'll see if we can see if we can get this guy made up real quick. So it doesn't look like it's going to be very long. And uh, with these guys, I think this, these allow us to uh, see the the aura in an area. So what we need we need two of these guys: thermometer. I don't even know how to make one of those. I don't know. We'll mess with this all. all we'll mess with this a little bit later. So. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm excited to get into the, I want to build a quarry today, so uh, I'll throw that guy back in there, and uh, what we are going to do is we're going to go down here, and I think I've got everything we need, um, we're going to have to make some steam engines, we're going to build a quarry, and uh, I think we're going to need some cobblestone, so we're going to grab some of this, and then we're also uh, going to need some smooth stone too, I think, so we'll throw some of this guy, or some of the cobblestone in there, get some smooth stone cooking. And we'll come over here, we're going to need 8 diamonds to make the quarry, which uh, sounds like a lot, but the uh, quarry is worth it. So, uh, we need some iron ingots too. We, we have, oh, we have enough iron ingots on us. Um, and we also need some wood. So, let's go up here, we've got all our uh, wood blocks and stuff upstairs. So we'll go grab all of these dudes. And, uh, let's see, they're over here. And okay, so I am gonna run upstairs and sleep, and uh, I'm gonna pause it and be right back. Okay, so we're up now, and uh, we I said skeletons burning. Um, okay, let's see about making this guy. Uh, we need some sticks first off. Well, I guess we need some planks first, but uh, we'll go ahead and make a crap ton of sticks because I don't have any sticks to begin with. I don't think so. Uh, we'll just hang on to all of this for now. But now we need to make some. Uh, some gears. I don't know if you've ever, if y'all have ever made a quarry and stuff like that. These things are really awesome. So uh, we need to make. Uh, I guess we'll just start off with four, and then uh, now we need to upgrade these to cobblestone, and then uh, I need to kind of do some counting because I think we're gonna need. Uh, let's see. So now let's make a upgrade them to iron. Not sure how many gears we need of each uh, each one, but uh, we can figure it out like once we get them. Because I know we need two diamond gears, which is what I'm trying to get right now. And then uh, so we throw these on here, and we make these gold. They are fairly expensive to make just because they take up so much uh, so so many resources. So we only need actually I think we just made an extra golden gear. We only need two golden gears. Um, let me grab one more diamond. Do that, and then now we can make uh, two diamond gears is what we need. All right, so we got those guys, and now we need uh, one more gold one. So let's do. We'll upgrade this this iron one. So now we got two gold, two diamond. Now we need three iron gears, and after that we are good to go. So let's do three I will make these guys throw these on there that cobblestone it's kind of cool that you can like upgrade these I don't know this is like one of the, uh, the cooler things and I have built a quarry before so this one I'm not gonna screw up like the freaking uh, thumb craft and all that other crap we didn't know how to do um, <laughs> this should be a little more uh, I should be a little more with it this time around so, okay, so now we got three iron gears, and now we need some redstone and a diamond pickaxe. Uh, so it does use quite a bit of diamonds, but we still have 20 left, so I'm not, we're not hurting that bad for him right now. Um, so we'll take this, 
like that. Now we have a diamond pick, and we need redstone. Do I have any redstone up here? I don't. Oh, we do. Sweet. Okay. I hadn't moved all this stuff down yet. Uh, okay, so now we throw uh, iron gears like this, gold gears like this, diamond gears like this. Uh, pick in the bottom and then redstone on top and that gives us a quarry which is really awesome so now that we have that we are gonna be good to go we need some uh, lapis we gotta make some markers cuz uh, I'll kind of explain more of what these guys do um, oh we need some redstone more redstone um, I'll explain more about what the markers do when we get out and pick out a spot for our uh, uh, quarry to go so we need four of these dudes and then we'll throw these here, and then we'll throw four lapis on there, and that gives us a landmark. So, um, these are going to go hand in hand with a quarry, and uh, you, like I said, you'll see in just a minute. So, trying to think of what else we need. We need to make some uh, steam engines. So, let's see if we have everything we need. Uh, I know we need some pistons, which I do not know how to make. I always, I hate making pistons, man. I can never remember the uh, recipe for them. So we'll look it up piston there it is and cobblestone iron wood and redstone okay cool we have all that stuff so cobblestone like this right hold on yeah cobblestone iron in the middle redstone on the bottom one on top okay okay we were almost there and like that okay so let's make a couple of these um we will make four. I'm probably gonna only use three though, because there's not much of a difference between like a <clears throat> you you or the different engines and stuff. Like some engines are faster than others, um, but we're not really gonna need them uh, to be that fast at least for right now. So we'll go ahead and make four of these guys, and then now uh, let's see if I can remember how to make these. We put. Piston in the bottom. We're making combustion engines. Oh shit, I can't remember. Hold on. Combustion engines. There it is. Oh, yeah, we want combustion engines. Okay, so iron on top. Uh, we need some more iron gears, a glass, and piston on the bottom. Okay. So, looks like we need some more iron. Um, do we have any? I guess we're going to have to cook some up. Crap! Oh no! Actually, you know what? Let's throw these guys in this furnace up here. Um, where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Did I even grab it? I didn't. I hate when I do that. I was like, oh, okay, we'll grab this and it will be good. So uh, we got that cooking. So now we just need to wait. So we need uh, at least three pieces to start. So now we can make one. Um, like this. So put a piston here, iron on top, oops, glass on bottom, and what was it, cobblestone like that? No, shit. I'm terrible at remembering these things. Iron gears, that's what we need. Good. Ruining everything. Okay, so we're going to let that cook up, and then uh, we're going to actually run, let's go run and check on our crystal farm and see uh, if we got anything growing. We probably don't, because this stuff takes, whoa, what are you doing here, dude? What are you doing in here? Oh gosh. Alright. I don't know why he's down here. He's just chilling. I think since we planted all these crystals too, it's increased the aura. And, um, because I, uh, cause I read that, like, when there's high aura in an area, uh, enemies and stuff spawn, like, all the time. And, uh, enemies and just, like, animals in general. And so I think, uh, the reason we got so many animals and stuff going on is because all the crystals that we spawned. Uh, or not spawned, but uh, planted. So I think that has a lot to do with it. So, you know, over here we can just take these two guys because these guys are bugging me. We've got all these ore and stuff in here that we need to come take out. And uh, I was going to make this kind of my factory, but then I kind of realized like where we're at. Like if you look up on the mini map, um, we're going to have to have a bunch of stuff above us. And this is going to be like right in the middle of our little uh, living area up there. So I decided against uh, making that into my little factory place. So we may end up making that into something else, but uh, not sure at the moment. Um, so we still got all of this. We got that viz that's sitting there. We need to fill up those tanks too. But all in due time. All in due time. 
Okay, so let's go check on our iron and see uh, how much we got cooked up. So, uh, we need to make some more stone gears. or Yeah, stone gears, I think. We need iron ones, though. Right, let's throw these guys down like that. So we'll make some stone gears, and now we need to make some iron ones. Like that, right? Yeah, we need iron gears. I just wanted to make sure. Okay, so now we put the iron on top like that, uh, stone gears like that, piston in the bottom, and then glass in the middle. And that gives us a combustion engine. Show sweet. Okay. So we're going to let that cook, and we need to go grab this uh, smooth stone down here because we also need to make some levers. And uh, it kind of sucks that everything's like kind of fairly far away from each other. That's just kind of annoying. we got to run back and forth, but uh, not that big a deal. I right, got some bricks in there. I got these uh, all cooked up, ready to go. And we are really getting somewhere, man. So we're finally getting into all the mods and stuff like that. And I, I think it's really cool. So I think uh, after we kind of get everything running and make it efficient, um, it'd be really cool to really start expanding and maybe like just sprucing the place up a bit. And uh, what are you doing? Are you hiding on my front porch? Get out of here. Peace, bro. Okay. Um, we'll throw this in there with that. And we should be good to go with all that now. Um, so we'll throw these here. Shit, we need to make more iron gears, too. That was what I was cooking all this iron for. Okay, so I will pause it. And then uh, I'll come back when all this is cooked up and we have enough to go. Okay, so we are good to go now, and what we need to focus on now is making a whole bunch of wooden gears. So we need uh, six, I think. I think that's right. So, yeah, because, oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with six, and hopefully that'll be enough. So we will see. All right, so we got those. We'll take these guys. Now we need to make these into cobblestone, which we need to grab some more of. Oh, good thing we got plenty of cobblestone, though. Um, okay, so take these guys and surround them with cobblestone. Uh-oh. I'll do that, that. Six gears like so. Okay, now I take these, and now we make uh, iron ones. So, man, I really hope we have enough iron. If we don't, then I'm not going... Yeah, okay, we do. Whew, that was a close one. Okay, so now we make uh, the rest of these uh, combustion engines. So, uh, do these guys actually... Do it like that. Pistons in the middle. Glass in the middle. Oh. But damn it, we need more iron. Are you serious? Alright, so let's just make, um, I guess we'll just make another one, and then uh, once we get everything started, I'll run back, and then uh, I'll grab the rest of them. So, um, now we need levers. So, is it cobblestone for levers? I think it is. Okay. So we'll grab three of these dudes, and then uh, now we should be good to go. Alright, so I kind of have an idea of where I want to put the quarry, but, um, the only thing is, is it's a little bit out of the way. Um, I want to put it over here, like in the desert, because uh, it's far enough away that it's not really gonna bother everything. And I don't know. I just uh, like I don't know. We kind of need to build some more in this area, so I'm thinking this is probably a good, good starting point for this quarry, which is gonna be over here. So um, let's kind of just run out and we'll do some surveying of the area over here and see there's more of those fiery flowers um let's see i don't want to build it this far out but i'm just trying to think of like where would be a cool place to to put it um would be nice to build kind of close to all this oil because then we can upgrade to uh um uh, what are the other engines i forget what they're called but they run off of oil and uh Good stuff like that. We can actually like make fuel and whatnot out of them. So uh, I don't know. Let's see, what is this hole? 
Oh, is this a dungeon? <gasps> it is. Let's go see what's down here. This is kind of cool. This isn't the one I found either. I found a different one. Oh, it's a zombie. Alright, so hopefully they won't wake up while we are down here. That would be bad news, bears. Um, where's this chest, man? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right, they spotted me. Are there no chests in this one? That would be really lame if there wasn't. Hey. Where's all your goodies, bro? Are you hiding them from me? Oh my gosh, he is. What the hell? Is there really no chest in here? That would be a first. I've never seen that before. Unless it's like... I don't know. That's really weird. That is bizarre. I have never seen that happen before. Like a dungeon with no no goodies in it? That's a rip off, man. What's in here? Anything? Nothing? Holy crap, dude, really? That's kind of disappointing. Oh well. I would thought for sure there'd be some treasure in there. It's a freaking zombie thing. There should be a dungeon. We could at least make that into a grinder. That'd be cool. Um, we could use that and then uh, get our level up some. And uh, really kind of, I don't know, take advantage of it being over here. So let's swim in this oil for a minute. And we'll glide down this hill. <laughs> That'd be so gross if that was real oil. Ugh. Okay. Hey. Hey. Okay, so I'm thinking that we might do it like in... Uh, this area right here and uh, I can flatten all this out um, so we'll go from here this way and flatten all of this and then uh, we should be good to go with uh, oh, we're setting up our quarry which is going to be really awesome because uh, I think it would be cool too is like over in this area too is we can build a factory and uh, like really have like all of our stuff in it and then uh, and have like kind of two separate work areas I guess and uh should be pretty cool why is all this sand like falling down it's really weird this is like cascading or something but strange 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 okay so we're gonna have a balls ton of sand now which we don't need any more glass I've already got a whole bunch um let's fill these holes like that like that Okay, so now we will set up our quarry. Um, first things first is we need to set up our designated area that we want to quarry or dig out. So um, I want to dig out a 10 by 10 square. So like a 10 this way and then 10 that way. That would be a 10 by 10 square. So we need to make it actually 11 by 11 <clears throat> because um, the quarry, when you set it down or whatever, it uh, it digs like it'll dig inside the ring order so like uh, this is 11 right here and so it'd be like 10 right here um, and uh, it'll dig out in the middle of this so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 like that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay now we can just run over here and line these dudes up right okay all right so now that we have those set down all we have to do is right click on them and then it sets up a uh, a little ring ring around the rosé um, <laughs> but now that's what we that's that's the area that the, the quarry is gonna dig in so um, now all we have to do is throw the quarry down like that and it's gonna throw up the, the construction tape or the caution tape or whatever and it's gonna pop off all of our markers or it should pop them off and uh, go collect these guys and now once we add power to this uh, it'll start building its uh, whatever you want to call it um, hmm. 
it's like scaffolding, I guess is a word for it or something like that. I'm not completely sure. But, uh, oh, damn it, did we make, I meant to make steam engines. Uh, okay, see, I got them confused because this is what we're going to use when we can uh, pump the oil um, over there. So now that we have got a couple of those, I guess that's good to go. Let's see, uh, see how we make a steam engine. I thought we were making the right ones. I got them confused. Steam engine, like this. So we need two stone gears and pistons. <laughs> All right, yay. All right, so I'm going to go make those real quick, and then I'll be right back. So that was my bad for screwing this thing up yet again. Uh, chaos fails one more time. and uh, <laughs> But uh, I will be right back, and we should be good to go. I'll have everything uh, ready to go. And uh, yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now we are good to go. We've got the steam engines and we've got everything uh, set up and ready to go. So this is going to be our dig area or dig site or whatever you want to call it. I have no idea. But, uh, okay, so now we throw the steam engines down like this. And when, uh, oh, it's going to pull out our combustion engines. Don't need those yet. Um, so now with the steam engine, we can throw, like, coal or any kind of, like, fuel in here. Um, we could use wood if we wanted to or uh, anything like that. But we're going to go ahead and use coal right now because I have enough for uh, three whole stacks to run three engines. And uh, you can't really, like, you can run more if you want, but there's really not that much of a difference between three. Like, one is going to be the slowest of them all, at least for the steam engines. Uh, the different kinds of different types of engines are faster than others, but uh, steam engines are, are pretty solid. Um... But like one will be really slow, two will be a little bit faster, and three is going to be like fa even faster than two. Uh, and there's not much of a difference between like four and five. So uh, three is kind of like a solid number, a solid number to go by. So uh, what we are going to do is we're going to throw these levers down like that. And so now we've got these loaded up with coal, the whole stack of coal. And uh, now if we turn these on, you're going to see this start to kind of run itself and it's going to start, uh, start building everything that we need. So we'll turn these guys on. And these guys are gonna start going, and then it's going to uh, it's gonna start building itself. So you kind of see, I haven't seen this guy before. This is kind of a new animation, but uh, it's gonna start building these little scaffolding guys, and uh, it's gonna go all the way around and uh, things like that. So what we are gonna do uh, before it really gets start, starts to get started is because all the items that it's gonna dig up, uh, we gotta have a place to put all of those. So. Uh, we're gonna make a workbench and we'll just throw it down like right here for right now. Uh, we're gonna make a couple uh, chests for it to throw all the stuff into, and uh, we'll do that. So we've got that, and then we also need to make some wooden pipe. And uh, to do that, we use uh, glass and wood like that, and that's gonna give us eight pipe. And then we can also make a uh, uh, you can make cobblestone pipe if you want, but uh, stone like smooth stone pipe is a lot faster. It just uh, it it travels through it a lot faster, I guess. So uh, you'll kind of see what we're talking about. But um, it definitely takes a while for this to all set up, and I have no idea what this guy is. I have never seen this before. It's really weird. I guess that's part of like the new version or something. I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's like a little. Uh, reminds me of uh, the guilty spark from Halo, the three four three. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, okay. Anyways, so what we're gonna do is uh, you can actually place the chest like right next to this if you want, and it will actually transfer all the items from inside or that it digs up to the chest right next to it. Um, but I don't know. That just kind of looks trashy to me. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna kind of dig out, and then uh, we'll set up our chest and stuff on the side of it. Um, we will throw these guys down right here and right there. And so now we do this. And then uh, put a stone one on top, and we can come off this way. And we can come this way. And then, uh, well, you know what? Actually, we'll come, we'll come down and into the side of the chest, like that. So uh, now everything that it digs up, this is actually a lot faster than it used to be. This used to take forever to set all of this up, and it's already almost done. That's pretty cool. And uh, so we just got the two corners, and now it's just this last side right here. So now, once it starts digging, you'll kind of see everything. Uh, it'll start going, and then it'll pull it all and uh, up through all of this, and then it'll pull it out of this, and then put it right into the chest, which is going to be really awesome. So, um, yeah, see, here it goes. Already it is going. This is like a little diamond tip tool or whatever you want to call it. I have no idea. But this will actually dig all the way down to bedrock, which is really awesome. So uh, you can see it's digging up the sand and stuff like that, and then it should start spitting it out of here like that. And then it's going to travel all the way up here. And see what would happen is if we took this guy off, 
it would just start spewing it all over the ground, which we don't want. So uh, we'll throw all that on there and then let it go down into the chest, which would be really cool. And it is definitely not the fastest way to dig, but uh, it is definitely the easiest because, like, you could just set this guy up and let him run, and then uh, you can go and you can build something else and, you know, uh, take care of some other business while it's doing its thing and you don't really have to worry about it. So uh, it's really awesome. So now it's going to start putting everything inside the chest so you can see it just kind of, like, starts just to throw itself in there and then uh, once it gets down into the very bottom it'll start getting the ores and stuff like that so right now we're just gonna be getting the sand which is decent I guess but uh, once we start getting down into like the cobblestone and the ores and coal and you know all that other good stuff that's when it really starts to pay off for itself so um, I'm trying to think of what else I can tell you guys about the quarry which is really I don't know it's just super awesome um, I wish there was a way to, like, you, I guess, like, they got the uh, build craft and industrial craft and stuff like that, and you can't mix power, so that's why we have to use combustion or steam, because uh, otherwise we could use, like, a, I don't know if you, I'd, I want to say you can't use, like, geothermic energy, um, which we could use from, like, lava and things like that, but I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to figure all that out, but uh, this is just going to be one of probably many quarries that we set up, so we'll probably end up making a whole bunch more of these just to really... Uh, I don't know, uh, capitalize on all this uh, space over here. So uh, it should be pretty cool once it's all done. So I'm actually, I'll pause it and uh, I'll come back after this guy has uh, gotten a little ways down. And uh, just that way you guys can see uh, everything that it's doing. So uh, I'll be back in just a minute, all right? All right, so now you can kind of see that, uh, see what this thing actually does. And we got to be real careful not to fall in here because uh, uh, we'll. I don't know. Once it gets really deep, you gotta really be careful not to jump over these guys. But uh, right now, I just wanted to give you guys a, a look inside of uh, what was going on. So now you can actually see kind of like what it's doing. So it's just gonna be basically just dig a giant hole all the way down to bedrock or as deep as it can go, and then uh, it's gonna pull everything up. So um, we are running fairly low. It, it burns through cold like not too terribly fast. But uh, oh my gosh, we fell in the hole. Um, but yeah, it definitely it it it'll burn through a lot of coal pretty fast, especially when uh it still says you know like up there in the coordinates it says we're at y of sixty five, or so that means it's got to dig sixty five down. So you know like ten by ten, you know that's like over six hundred blocks it's got to dig up. So um it definitely takes a lot of time and a lot of patience and stuff. But like I said, it's it's really nice when uh, when you can uh, just set this up and let us do it, let it do its thing, and uh, you can go do something else. So I think that maybe maybe actually what we can do. So uh, uh, I do want to start on my the factory area over here, but uh, I'm not sure exactly um, where we want to build it. So we may end up doing that next episode. And uh, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. So now that we got everything running fairly smooth, and uh, I don't know, it should be pretty cool. It's gonna pay off for itself pretty fast. So. Uh, it should be pretty awesome. So anyways, hit that like button if you like the quarry. And uh, I will catch you guys tomorrow where hopefully we can start building our factory and things like that and uh, getting some more of the industrial craft and build craft set up. So, uh, but uh, anyways, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow, all right? Peace.